Yeah, yeah, we're here with Lil Stu. What it do, y'all? Yeah, we're here to ask him a few questions today. What made you want to become a rapper? Uh, being a rapper, I mean, it's just, I just like music. Like, ever since I was little, I just love music. We used to be on the table, you know, freestyle at the table or whatever. I mean, I used to play around with it, but I was like, we need to make this music. Where'd you meet your uh, friend uh, Big Oso at? Uh... That was when I actually came back down here because I ain't used to go to school out here. I used to uh, go to school in Greenspoon. So when I got down here, I, he, was, he was rapping, yeah. He was rapping at the table. I was like, yeah. And then we started messing with each other, like on some strong stuff. And ever since then, y'all stuck along. Yeah. He my day one. What's, who's your favorite rapper? Who do you look up to? Chris Brown, cause he got all the females on his on his tip. Mm. If I, I mean, yeah, Chris Brown. He a nice artist, bro. I can, I think we will be able to work along just fine. You and Chris Brown? Yeah. Kind of look like him, no lie. Nah, chill out, chill out, chill out. <laughs> if you if you had the opportunity to sing with somebody, who would it be? What rapper would it be? Old school or or new school? Any? Choose one of each. Um, Old school, let's see. Probably Easy E, cause I like how he just lays his words down on the track. And new school, probably. Hmm. I probably probably Chris Brown because I mean, he look like he is fun to be in the studio with him and like we'll horse around, but we'll get the job done very fast. That's good. That's good. Yeah, yeah, we're in here with Big Oso today, interviewing him. Yeah, yeah. We have a couple questions for you today. We got you. All right. Um, first of all, I want to thank you for being here today. No problem, no problem. <laughs> no problem. <laughs> no problem. But Stu, come on with it. All right. Um, so, so I have a question. Is Stu Boy a competition for you, or he just trash? I mean, when we get on the song and make a competition, that just make the whole song better. So. Who influences you to be a rapper? What? Who influences? Who? Who makes you? Well, when I'm, when I'm, when I'm, in a, when I'm on a track, you know what I'm saying. I I like to look up to three people. I look up to Biggie because his words, hey, so player, they can make you, you know what I'm saying, do something you don't even want to do the way he spit it. Then, Bun B, he one of the greatest. You know how he ride the track. He break his he break his words down in the segments, and it make it easy and them to understand. You know what I'm saying. And the third, I like that boy Kirko, you know, cause he from my side of the time. You know what I'm saying. So he made it. I can make it. Anybody can make it. If you could feature with a with a rapper, new school, old school, who would it be? The old school rapper I feature with, once again, would probably be Biggie. Because, you know, we get on the track, we make something for the ladies, we can do something and make that real big. I dig that. New school, I probably I probably want to get on the track with Rich Homie Quan right now because he hot. He got the newest thing on the scene, so that'll be a hot look right there. All right. So that closes up today. See y'all next time with Big Old Hope. How is your butt? Oh. What's up? No. Yeah. Can't do that. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> on the green screen, got the camera on me. Got the lights on me. I got the girl on me. I don't want a homie. <laughs> That's how it goes.